Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'll be playing the classical acoustic guitar using the Fender Play app. Um, every day, Monday through Friday, uh, Fender sends me a random uh, exercise and riff, and then I do it. And I uh, take turns. Um, like one day will be acoustic guitar, next day will be electric, and then bass guitar, and I just constantly rotate uh, what the random uh, exercise and riff will be. And today's random uh, exercise and riff is, uh, let's see, exercise G, C, D with a bass note drum. This sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure I've done this recently. So. This could be a repeat or something similar. This lesson focuses on the bass note drum exercise that involves switching between the uh, what is it? One I, I don't know what Roman numerals what the Roman numerals stand for. Oh that's bad. Between the one? I know the first one's one. Third? Maybe fourth, fifth, I don't know. Chords and, okay, what am I? Could be one, one, two, three. No. I'll have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look at my, look at my Roman <clears throat> numerals. Remember studying them in school, but if you don't use it often, you'll forget what they mean. Okay, switch between whatever those those symbols mean chords in G major. Now let's take a look at the chords. Okay, here's our three chords. There's C, G, and D. These are easy chords. The musician calls them cowboy chords. Isn't that interesting? Oh, there's a lot of vibration. There. It would help if I play correctly. Take a look at the tab. So there's G with bass note. Okay. It's, I've done it before, but it's been a while. Okay, we're going to watch it first, and then um, I'm going to switch over to the widescreen view. This is just easier. To look at uh, and if my browser doesn't act up sometimes it doesn't like it when I do this so I'm gonna go ahead and play first and then we'll switch to this wide view of the chord chart in this exercise we'll play a progression with a bass note strum pattern we'll be switching between three chords G C and D. here's how our exercise starts I'm pausing it because the fire truck is coming down and just will ground everything out. See, I live close by two different fire departments and they're always active. All right, let's continue on. We've got a four measure example here. We have one measure of G, then we have half a measure of C and half a measure of G for a quick change. Then we have another full measure of G, then we end with half a measure of D and half a measure of G for another quick change. That's a one, four, one, one, five, one progression in the key of G. So let's walk through that progression now just with quarter notes first. One, two, three, four. We have G, two, three, four, then C, and then G, and a full measure of G, two, three, four, then D, and G. Now we're going to be using a one bar bass note strum pattern here. We're going to play one, two, and three, four. So that's going to be root, strum, and then root, strum. And 
our strumming pattern there is down, down, up, down, down. Try that with me for two bars just on a G chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you want to be careful on bars two and four there because we're switching chords halfway through. So on bar two, we have C to G. It's going to be one, two, and three. We switch to that G right on B3. And then bar four, D to G. One, two, and three, four. Switching to G on B3. Now the root note for each chord here is on a different string. So we have our G note on E. We have our C note on the A string. Then we also have our D note here, open B string. So our challenge here is playing steady and accurately through the measure with these quick changes. So make sure you pay attention to all that. And we're going to play now five times through here. We're going to end with a G whole note. Get ready and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. We have down, down, up, down. Down, 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 up, down. Down, 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 up. times. One more time. Nice work. Now that you've got a handle on the bass note strum concept, you can apply it to some of your favorite progressions and songs. Have fun, and we'll see you soon. I'm listening. Uh, a particular neighbor has come home, and he has a tendency to climb the stairs, and he cusses at everybody and everything. So if you start hearing he's down on the lower levels, I'm, I'm in a third-tier apartment building, so I can hear him down on the first level. And if he comes this way, which sometimes he doesn't, but sometimes he does, he'll climb the stairs and he'll just cuss and cuss and cuss. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, going to watch it again, but we're going to expand. In this exercise, we'll play a progression with a bass note strum pattern. We'll be switching between three chords, G, C, and D. Here's how our exercise sounds. We've got a four measure example here. We have one measure of G, then we have half a measure of C and half a measure of G for a quick change. Then we have another full measure of G. Then we end with half a measure of D and half a measure of G for another quick change. That's a one, four, one, one, five, one progression in the key of G. So let's walk through that progression now just with quarter notes first. One, two, three, four. We have G, two, three, four, and then C, and then G. And a full measure of G, two, three, four, then D. And G. Now we're going to be using a one bar bass note strum pattern here. We're going to play one, two, and three, four. So that's going to be root, strum, and then root, strum. And our strumming pattern there is down, down, up, down, down. Try that with me for two bars just on a G chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, be careful on bars two and four there because we're switching chords halfway through. So on bar two, we have C to G. It's going to be one, two, and three, four. We switch to that G right on B3. And then bar four, D to G. One, two, and three, four. Switching to G on B3. Now the root note for each chord here is on a different string. So we have our G note on E. 
We have our C note on the A string. Then we also have our D note here, open D string. So our challenge here is playing steady and accurately through the measure with these quick changes. So make sure you pay attention to all that. And we're going to play now five times through here. We're going to end with a G whole note. Get ready and I'll count you in. One. Oh, not quite ready. <laughs> um, <laughs> two. Three. Four. Five. Alright, I'm going to practice on my own, and then I'm going to try to practice with the guy. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready yet to play along with him. I'm going to be ready. All right, I'm going to practice on my own five times. And depending on if I feel like I'm getting it, I'll practice with the guy. If not, I'm going to move on to the next lesson. I have two more times. Last part was supposed to be a whole note. Okay, I'll do it one more time going through, but I have to remember the last last G is a whole note. If I can play with the guy, I have my doubts. So maybe I can do some of it. Two, three, four. One. Uh -huh. Let's play through the measure with these quick changes. So make sure you pay attention to all that. And we're going to play now five times through here. We're going to end with a G whole note. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Nice work. Now that you've got a handle on the bass note strum concept, you can apply it to some of your favorite progressions and songs. Have fun, and we'll see you soon. Okay, you probably noticed my weaknesses. They're down there on the second bar mostly. I mean, I had other weaknesses, but 
D and G right there on the was it the fourth measure was my major trouble spot right there. I have to remember to come back sometime and practice these. Okay, next is, now I've done this before, um, burned it down as a riff lesson. Lead guitar line is uh, Burning in Town by Jason Adeline. Uses a 16 note rhythm. You modify it with a capo across the sixth fret. By the end of this look, or by the end of this lesson, you'll learn how to six note pick, alternate picking, and palm muting. Um, I won't be doing palm muting today, nor would I work with a capo. Not today. Some day close soon, but not today. Yeah, that's the tab for it. Here's the riff of Burning It Down by Jason Aldean. We'll take advantage of the capo on the sixth fret and some open strings to play a simplified version of the lead guitar riff. Here's what it sounds like. Relative to the capo being on the 6th fret, we'll be in 1st position for the majority of this riff. We only have a few notes to look at. We have this C note, which is on the 1st fret, 2nd string. Open E, which is just the open 1st string. G, which is the 1st string, 3rd fret. And D, which is the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Let's look at those notes from another angle. So we have C, open E, G, and D. Now let's go over the riff. You're gonna start on a C, and it's C, E, C, C, E, C, C. Let's keep going. Now, G, D, C, C, D, C, D, C, C, E. Let's look at that whole riff from another angle. From another angle. C, E. We're going to do 16th note rhythms and down up picking. Also, we're going to do a palm mute on the C note, and everything else is unmuted. So let's hear what that sounds like. Take a closer take look, a at, closer the look at the strum hand.
Now let's play everything together. It's important to note that we're going to do a pickup in the beginning. So it's going to be four E and a. That's where we start. So here we go. I'll count you in. One, two, three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Let's do that one more time. Remember, we're coming in on the pickup. One, two, three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And that's the riff. Okay, we're gonna play it again. Um, as I said, I'm gonna make some modifications. I'm not using a capo, so it's gonna sound strange. It's gonna sound off, actually. And um, I'm not muting. I might try it turn of picking up, but I'm not doing muting, palm muting, and I'm not using the capo. Here's the riff of Burning It Down by Jason Aldean. We'll take advantage of the capo on the sixth fret and some open strings to play a simplified version of the lead guitar riff. Here's what it sounds like. Relative to the capo being on the 6th fret, we'll be in 1st position for the majority of this riff. We only have a few notes to look at. We have this C note, which is on the 1st fret, 2nd string. Open E, which is just the open 1st string. G, which is the 1st string, 3rd fret. And D, which is the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Let's look at those notes from another angle. So we have C, open E, G, and D. Now let's go over the riff. You're gonna start on a C, and it's C, E. through let's keep going C C E C E C now G D C C D C D C C E let's look at that whole riff from another angle Also, we're going to do a palm mute on the C note, and everything else is unmuted. So let's hear what that sounds like.
So now let's take a closer look at the strum hand. Now let's play everything together. It's important to note that we're going to do a pickup in the beginning, so it's going to be for minor because e I'm not using capo. And it's going to sound out. That's there. where we start. So here we go. I'll count you in. One, two, three, e, and a four, e, and a one. E. Do that one more time. So remember, we're coming in on the pickup. One, two, three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e, and a two, e, and a three. Because it was so out of tune, I lost my place. Um, so let's do it on my. I'm gonna play on my own. Well, maybe I should try it one more time. Actually, hold on. Let's uh, turn off the guitar. <laughs> That's going to throw me off. Alright. Oh, that wasn't right. Shoot. Alright, hold on. Yeah. Try this again. Oh, I'm sorry. I doesn't help that the dogs are barking and um, this has a weird count to it. and the neighbors. As I said, neighbors. Okay, gonna try this. Try, try and door, block out the neighbors while I 
do this. Hard to do. Time. 